Everyone was laughing at Jewish jokes, especially if Carl Reiner and Mel Brooks were telling them. I'd like you to meet now a gentleman who I've had the pleasure of meeting and interviewing two or three times before, the 2,000-year-old man. Hello there. Hi, How sir. Are How are you, yes. sir? Good to see you. You know, many people still do not believe that you are 2,000 years old, but it has been authenticated. Yes, it has, certainly. You are that. I have uh, a birth certificate in the land of Og, but I don't carry my birth certificate around. Why? Because it's a boulder. It's inscribed on Oh, I see, yes. Well, that can't carry would be that. cumbersome. No, credit cards, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> but at first... The 2,000-year-old man had been a hit only with their friends. From 1950 to 1960, we never did it any place but at parties because the Jewish accent, remember, the war had been all over for five years. 1950, it's five years ago that Hitler was using everything to denigrate Jews. Are we going to denigrate ourselves by making fun of our own accent? Jews will understand the Jewish accent. So we never did it any place but for friends. Sir... Sir, I read somewhere that you lived in Boston during the American Revolution. Did you know Paul Revere? An anti-Semite bastard. He didn't like Paul Revere. Uh, he, he was a Jew. hero. He, he hated was a the he Jews. No, 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 no. He, he was a like hero. How could you call an anti-Semite? He warned he was afraid they were moving in. He had fear that they were going to go in the neighborhood and move in. No. They're coming, they're coming. The Yiddish, they're coming. No, 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 no. no. He, he, was, was, he was yelling. I heard him yelling He was myself. yelling, the British are coming. Oh, my God. And you moved out. Oh. <laughs> the British are coming. One time, George Burns, he says, fellas, is that on, is that an album? You got an album of that? And we said, no. He says, better put it on an album. I'm going to steal it. We put it out and it became a hit. And we still weren't sure. We still didn't have that stamp of approval. We worried whether the guy in the world would understand. Anyway, Harry Grant he used to come by every day and he said, oh, I'd like a couple of those albums. They're wonderful. I gave him one, the first one. Then he bought, he used to borrow, not borrow, he'd snore. Uh, a dozen. And one day he said to me, can I get another dozen? I'm going to England. So he came back and he said, I went to the palace. She loved it. I said, who? He says, the queen. She roared. I said, she loved it? He says, yes, of course. I said, my God, the biggest chicks in the world gave our stamp of approval in. 